guys, it's uh, 8 a.m. on the first morning of the passage. We've made 43, 44 miles already. It was, our average was like 4.8 knots for a while, um, and for a few hours we were averaging like over five. Uh, I decided to get some sleep, and we came out of the acceleration zone, so I had to go back in. Yeah, there are a few problems setting off. So I've got to change the sheets a bit. I'm going to wait until 10, 11 latest. Um, so there's often a wind in the morning and then that, that dies down a bit after a little while. So uh, I'll see if that happens. If I mean, it's not going to be comfortable either way. Some of the waves are up to three meters, some more. I'll have to drop the sails and uh, basically drift while I'm doing it, although the job itself is fairly easy. Oh, and the baton, because of that, because there was all tension in one place, um, the baton ripped through its uh, end pocket, but and the lashings that it used to lash onto are still there, so that's also a relatively simple job. fishing obviously you know it's going, to, it's going to be two or three days until I'm really into it I would really be relaxed until I've got this four sale sorted out properly either and uh, so uh, I will try and maybe take some photos and videos um, to add to this but it's pretty bold right now you can't really see it from the camera obviously but uh, yeah, we're going downwind, so it's pretty rolly. Uh, I'll show you a little bit behind me. There's the hydrovane doing its job. Oh, that was a big one. Yeah, there's confused seas, confused winds. Uh, we're still in the dirty air from the islands, so... We'll only get better. So you see there, we've got a bit of a squall chasing us. We'll catch up to this a bit uh, very soon. Sorry if I'm a bit incoherent. I only had like, I don't know, three hours sleep or something. Which wasn't too bad, you know, considering we made ground and stuff. But yeah, I'm a bit tired. So, definitely not going to be doing any work until that passes us. It's just going to be rolly and uncomfortable. So, it'd be nice to do it when the weather's a bit warmer. I'll wear some clothes that I don't mind getting wet and that will dry out quickly. So, Okay, I fixed the sail guys without stopping. The wind did die down a bit. Yeah, so uh, I just reefed it down to the panel and stuff that needed doing, and uh, then I did it on deck with the harness on, of course, and I tied the boom to the gallows to keep it, uh, and I tied the batten that uh, was uh, needed fixing, I mean the batten pocket anyway, um, to the gallows as well, so I'm happy that I uh, fixed the gallows well temporary fix, they need to be rebuilt, the wood's all rotten, it's just pine, but uh, yeah, so uh, I'd stopped and had a couple of hours sleep this morning, well one hour and one hour, and uh, forced myself to have a bit of bowl of cereal, you know, with these conditions, uh, 
you know, <laughs> not feeling 100% yet, you know, um, but I'm okay. So, uh, yeah, I'm glad that was much easier than uh, I expected that it might be. It's a nice change. And we're making a nice course at like 2.55 or something like that. I didn't even connect the gas yet, um, but I'm surviving fine on cereal drinks. I don't really want a coffee anyway. If I really need some protein, I'm going to open a can of tuna and eat that. I'm still not going to fish because that means connecting the gas, cleaning the fish here in the cockpit, and uh, I'm not going to do that until I've probably got my sea legs, which is going to be like in a day or two. So, that's it for now. Uh, I'll update when there's something to update. So we've been at sea just over 25 hours and uh, we've made 78 nautical miles. So it was about 75 nautical miles for um, the first 24 hours, which isn't great. You know we need to be doing at least 100, but uh, I think we will be doing with the current conditions anyway, now that we've got uh, all but one of the panels of the foresail up. Um, so if we'd have had this much sail up last night, even taking account for the fact that the sail wasn't a good shape because of the problem with the sheets, uh, then we'd have easily been averaging like over six knots and uh, I don't like to be averaging six knots in night time. Certainly not here where you've got confused seas and gusts and everything like that. So, um, yeah, we're going to be going tonight with just the one panel reef. So, it's still a chance it might go up to six knots, um, but that's okay. That's, part, that's within my safety margin as I currently have it. So, uh, now um, I can probably th start thinking about getting the full foresail up and. Uh, maybe some mainsail if it gets a bit calmer but I think that's not going to happen until the day after tomorrow unless tomorrow turns out to be pretty light wind so yeah I'm trying to stick in the acceleration zone to get away from the islands probably need to be heading a little bit I know I think I'm okay for being in the acceleration zone but uh, if I want to get to the higher wind system, down by 10 degrees north and 36 west, somewhere around there, uh, then I want to be going a bit more south than my current average of about 260. Uh, but yeah, I'll go more south tomorrow. Today I'll do 260 and maybe the wind will even change still because we're still quite close to land. Um, so... Yeah, I opened that can of tuna, I've eaten two thirds of it already, it's keeping me full at least. Um, and I did have that bottle of cereal this morning, didn't quite finish it all, I threw some away. But uh, yeah, it was important to get something, I wanted to take some painkillers as well, I didn't want to do it on an empty stomach. But I do feel better now, um, and I've got some nice uh, material for omelettes to look forward to. Got a whole load of onions. Um, and uh, I can make like an egg pasta and I'll, I'll explain or I'll show you at least a method I'll explain. Um, okay, bye bye.